So I've been promising to show people like how to tempo map really quick and easy um, using FL Studio, right? So right here I have three songs. I'm gonna do this one, the Life is a Good one. I put down the 87 BPM, which is most drum and bass music, right? So you can see here, I've already set the project file to 87, right? So it's once I put this in to the program, it's gonna essentially be the same. BPM, right? Now this is this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You see that little space right there? You have to double check to make sure that, that there is space because when you come here, you'll see that it's not exactly aligned perfectly, right? So we have to move it over a little bit, but don't forget that you do need to give about two seconds of space in between, right? So we're gonna move it up just about a measure, right? So it's in the second measure, but again, there's that space. You have to double check where, where it's at. And again, there's that space right there. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't hold my fucking phone with the, with the chin. I'm gonna press Alt and drag until this comes right here essentially lined up, right? So now, when I come over here to check where the drop start or where the beat starts, you can see that it's pretty much lined up pretty much perfectly. One, two, three, four, one, two, right on the grid. Now, it took me a little bit longer right now because I'm holding my phone, but I mean, this took me less than, you know, two minutes, essentially. Um, and so when you load it onto Moonscraper, it'll line up perfectly, and I'll show you in the next video. Okay, so now, now that Moonscraper is loaded up, right, we're gonna go, obviously, to song properties, audio, we're gonna load in the audio that we just got from FL Studio that we exported as an OGG file. I should have said that, but most of you know how to export stuff already. Um, here's our file right there. Life is good, 87 OGG. Um, gonna put that like that. We're gonna reload, right? Now we're gonna go here. We're gonna change this to 87, right? And this is all we're gonna need to do, because watch this. Two, three, four starts perfectly. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the beat's gonna start perfectly on you. And I'm not gonna have to make any markers or move anything the entire song. Now if you pause it, you can see that all of these lines right here are perfectly on the grid because we set it perfectly on FL Studio. We just took about a minute, two minutes to just move it over perfectly because this grid is the same thing as FL Studio. So if you export the FL Studio file and it's already aligned with enough space at the beginning, again, we set that space right here in the beginning, the two seconds or the one measure, and it's gonna start perfectly exactly like it did on FL Studio. And you can, you just move it over. You don't have to mess with milliseconds or anything. You just move it over to where it perfectly starts. Now, some songs obviously are gonna be a little bit, a little bit more difficult. You know, the jazz stuff, the live, um, the live instrumentation things and, and whatnot. Um, that's gonna obviously be a little bit trickier. Uh, those songs are definitely gonna be a little bit more intricate when it comes to tempo mapping. But for electronic music, for most rap music, hip hop, stuff like that, um, even some rock stuff, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. So if you have a, a DAW or a, you know, something like Logic or FL Studio, you can do exactly what I did. So have fun, good luck, let me know if you need any help.